hell is this? Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Cam from Millsy Entertainment and it's been a few months since I made a video, but honestly, it feels good to be back. If you haven't checked out the most recent episode of the Retrospect Lounge, go check that out. It was back in November and it was a video game review of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 on the PC. Also, I do have multiple new episodes of the Retrospect Lounge coming later this month, March 2019. Anyway, this is a video that I do every year, well, starting with last year at least. This is something I'm going to keep doing every year, where I basically show my entire media collection, because as you can see, the shelf is empty. And we're going to rebuild it as I show you every single pile of movie, TV series, DVD, and Blu-ray, plus every single video game that I own. It's going to be a pretty long video, just like last year's, but I'm excited, and honestly, let's just get right into it, because I know this is just going to be super long already, so we're going to try and, you know push through everything as quick as we can. Now, most of this will be the same as last year, but I do have quite a few new titles that I have picked up in the last year, so there will be some new stuff as well as a couple things that I've had already that kind of have some changes, which doesn't make sense right now, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. Uh, anyway, we're gonna start with the collections for DVD. But before we get into that, I'll show you the one thing that I own that's a VHS. We're going way back. I still have the Star Wars Original Trilogy unaltered VHS uh, collection and I honestly have no plans to get rid of this. I have them all on Blu-ray, but these are the unaltered, you know, before all the special, uh, what do you call it, special editions with all the new effects and everything. So this is the unaltered trilogy from George Lucas, so I plan to keep this for a while. As for my DVD collections, I really only have one, and when I say collections, I mean like actual like huge box sets, and that's gonna be Lost the Complete Collection, Complete Series basically, on DVD, and this thing is so dusty. That is disgusting. I'll be cleaning that later. Um, my favorite television show of all time, as you know, if you've seen any previous videos on my channel back around to Lost Month and everything, but I love this collection. Probably my favorite thing that I own on this entire shelf. All right, now for the actual DVDs themselves. We're starting with the DVD movies that I own. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, special edition box set, basically. Home Alone, the complete collection. This includes Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Home Alone 3, and Home Alone, Taking Back the House. We've got Friday the 13th, eight movie collection, I believe. Yeah, eight movies, which includes... Do I really want to list these all off? Probably not, but it includes part one through three, the final chapter, A New Beginning, Jason Lives, The New Blood, and my personal favorite, Jason Takes Manhattan. If you haven't watched my Friday the 13th Best Kills Entertainment Talk video, go check that out. I'll have a link in the description because I talk about a lot of these movies in pretty good detail. Really really just the kills, to be honest, but uh, it's a fun one. Next up, we got Space Jam, Cats and Dogs. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, The Wizard of Oz. Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams. Also, you remember that scene in this movie where Steve Buscemi's character is like, talking about his experiments and everything, and he's like, do you think that God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he created? Kind of like this, how the scientists felt, you know? That's a pretty um, deep and dark line for a kid's movie, looking back. Yeah, uh, probably my favorite DreamWorks movie of all time. Very unpopular opinion. Over the Hedge. After Shrek, of course. Next up, Diary of Wimpy Kid. Uh, 1, 2, and 3, which so it includes the first, Roger Rules, and Dog Days, which I never even saw Dog Days, to be quite honest with you. One of my favorite non-Disney Disney movies of all time, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Hercules. The Santa Claus. The Santa Claus 2. The Haunted Mansion. By the way, these are all going in genres. I haven't really talked about that, but this first genre for DVD is Disney. The Incredibles, Wally, -E, and College Road Trip. The next genre for DVD is going to be Christmas. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Home Alone Family Fun Edition. And you're about to see when you see my collection, I think I own three different, three or four, I think it's three different copies of this movie. I don't know why. Warner Brothers, four film holiday favorites, and this includes... Fred Claus, Just Friends, Unaccompanied Minors, and Christmas Vacation 2. Now, Just Friends is actually one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's I would like hardly even consider it a Christmas movie, but I still watch it only at Christmas. Uh, it's a movie no one really talks about, but uh, what ham did you slap? Not the ham I just bought. Um, that was a really bad impression. But anyway, and as for Christmas Vacation 2, I've never watched it, and I probably never will. Christmas with the Cranks, Deck the Halls. Now we're getting into comedies. Better Off Dead, Billy Madison, Beavis and Butthead Do America, Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, Me, Myself, and Irene, a um, movie I have not actually seen ever. My parents gave it to me, I think, when I, when I moved out, as one of the many things they gave me when I moved out. And uh, yeah, I've never seen it. Meet the Parents, Not Another Teen Movie, Bruce Almighty, I Don't Play Like Shaggy Cause You'll Know It Was Me, Mean Girls, Anger Management, Cheaper by the Dozen, RV, 
and Paul Blart Mall Cop. The next genre is Western, and I only own two movies, and it's going to be The Magnificent Seven and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Next genre is Drama, and I've got Saving Shiloh and American Beauty. Next, we got Horror, and I just have one movie, and it's A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 2010 remake, which I actually like, but I know a lot of people really hated. Just one action movie on DVD, and that's Men in Black. And now we've got my TV series on DVD, which I have The Best of Friends, Volume 1, and The Best of Friends, Volume 2. The Angry Video Game Nerd, Season 2, and I know this is a web series, but, you know, I just grouped it in there with, um, what do you, what do you, what do you call it, with, with TV series. Robot Chicken Star Wars, and America, The Story of Us, Complete Season. Continuing with TV, we've got Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The Complete First and Second Season. Beavis and Butthead, Season 3. 24, Season 1. 24, Season 2. And I should stop real quick and say that I never finished this series. I got to like Season 4, and then I watched Live Another Day, which was basically like, what was it, the 10th or 9th season? Um, I love this show. It's just so overwhelming how much there is. I'd love to go back and rewatch it or, you know, at least finish it. 24, Season 4. I don't, I don't have Season 3 for whatever reason, and then this one is just... All beat up, unfortunately. 24 season 5. 24 season 7. So I don't have season 3 or season 6. It's super weird. I don't know why. Um, and 24 season 8. How I Met Your Mother season 1. How I Met Your Mother season 2. How I Met Your Mother season 3. How I Met Your Mother season 4. How I Met Your Mother season 5. And How I Met Your Mother season 6. I don't own 7 through 9. That 70s Show, Season 1. That 70s Show, Season 2. That 70s Show, Season 3. That 70s Show, Season 4. That 70s Show, Season 5. Phil the Future, Gadgets and Gizmos. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Taking Over the Tipton. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Lip Syncing in the Rain. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet, Sweet Victory. Sunny with a Chance, Sunny's Big Break. Now, this was like a show that only lasted a couple seasons, but I actually really enjoyed it when it was on. I have not watched it since then, but uh, I, I liked it. And Arrested Development Season 1. Now ending off the TV seasons on DVD, we've got Breaking Bad, the first season. Breaking Bad Season 2. Breaking Bad Season 3. Breaking Bad Season 4. Breaking Bad Season 5. Breaking Bad Season 6. Jericho Season 1. And Jericho Season 2. Now we're getting into Blu-ray, starting with The Collections. The Collections! The Dark Knight Trilogy. On Blu-ray. And the only other collection I have is Stranger Things, the complete first season. As far as big box collections go, I still have all these, you know, just regular Blu-ray collections like Star Wars, the complete saga. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. But it's, it's the first six Star Wars movies. Unpopular opinion here, the best Star Wars movies. Back to the Future trilogy. Hmm. 1.21 gigawatts. Indiana Jones, the complete adventures. Yeah, that is what it's called, uh, which includes, you know, the first through fourth movie. Now we're into Family, which I think this is the only family one I have. Shrek 2. Now Disney, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. The Fox and the Hound, the two film collection, which, you know, includes the first and the second, which the Fox and the Hound, one of the one of the saddest Disney movies I've ever seen. I still love it, but it, oh God, it's, it's just sad in my opinion. Just heartbreaking. But at least you got a little hound dog. Beauty and the Beast. Aladdin, and don't even get me started on the uh, the new Aladdin. My God, this is probably one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, but that film, oh, it, look, it looks atrocious so far, in my opinion. It just looks so bland, and the CGI just, I don't even want to talk about it. The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Lion King, uh, Beauty and the Beast remake, which I actually love. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I personally love this remake, especially Days in the Sun, if you remember from my last video. Days in the sun, where my life has but I also love something there. Something there that wasn't there before. And Coco. Now we're on to Christmas. We have It's a Wonderful Life. A Christmas Story. Home Alone. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Put the cookie down! No! Jingle All the Way. Starring young Anakin Skywalker. I'm not a pervert. I'm just looking for Turbo Man doll. That's, that's the best you're going to get from my Arnie impression. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The 2001. Definitely not the new bullshit one. Bad Santa, <laughs> one of the most raunchy films I've ever seen, but it's so funny. This, by the way, this movie, it would not be made nowadays. Even Bad Santa 2 was so watered down. Like, this 
<laughs> so bad. And Elf. Schnozberries taste like schnozberries. I don't know why I don't own Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory, but I mean, at least I don't own Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Next we have comedies, one of my favorite comedies of all time, Vacation. And then we go with one of my not favorite comedies of all time, European Vacation, which in my opinion is the worst out of the original four, not including Christmas Vacation 2 or the reboot. Out of the original four, this is, this is the worst in my opinion. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Vegas Vacation, one of my favorite romantic comedies of all time, 16 Candles, Spaceballs. As I go through these, there's some movies I pull out where I'm like, I totally forgot I even own this. Like, it's just the weirdest thing. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, I do have this. This is one of my personal favorites, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The Sandlot, best comedy that's not really even much of a comedy and kind of just more just a chill, mellow, like you're watching some people's lives play out kind of film. Days and Confuse, which top five movie, favorite movies of all time. This is definitely in there. Now, my personal favorite romantic comedy of all time, I would say this and then 16 Candles are my two favorites, but there's something about Mary. Yeah, real good chum. American Pie, American Pie 2, American Wedding, which, you know, I love the American Pie movies, but this one always seemed to be like the lowest point in the, just the main four, not the spinoffs, which I've never seen, but of the main four, this seemed to be the lowest point in the series, in my opinion. And American Reunion, Wet Hot American Summer. Okay, this is another movie where like, I forgot I even owned this. I love this movie, but totally forgot. 50 First Dates, which I saw for the first time a few months ago, and it's such a good movie. I don't know why I never saw it. I guess I just saw like Adam Sandler, and I'm like, just generic BS, but it's actually, I feel like, one of his better comedies. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which don't shoot me, um, those of you cultists who have seen this movie, but um, I have never seen it. It was a Christmas present like five years ago, and I still have yet to watch it. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, another just amazing romantic comedy, which I'm a huge like romantic comedy kind of guy. Like I like those kind of movies. This is one that's like definitely a surprise. Like it's not like a just straight up like chick flick. Like it's it's pretty raunchy. The Hangover. This is the end. Now we're into the dramas. We've got the Stanley Kubrick collection, which includes 2001: A Space Odyssey, uh, A Clockwork Orange, and The Shining. Which you know, 2001 is more of a sci-fi film. Shining is more of a horror. But grouping these all together, I just throw it in drama. Uh, Stand by Me. <laughs> Amazing film. Bring you know it gives you that one takeaway message that you never really have the friends like you did when you were 12 years old. And I don't really live by that because I feel like the best friends of my life were not when I was 12 years old. Those were the friends that were trying to get me to make them all of cocktails, shoot off bottle rockets, and um, steal. Yeah, I hung out with some real, real good pals back in the day. Um, Breakfast Club and Goodfellas. All my life I wanted to be a gangster. Come on and start the lights. I don't know why I'm singing this. I don't even know what to sing though. Muppets film. Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, Shawshank Redemption. Another movie where like, I'm probably gonna get crucified because I've never seen it, The Usual Suspects. Fight Club, Donnie Darko, The Day After Tomorrow, Inception, Boyhood, one of my favorite movies of all time. You don't want the bumpers? Life doesn't give you bumpers? But the, the stepdad, like the second dad in this, the, you know, the older guy, dude was such a dickhead. Like when I watched it, I'm just like, I cringe because like I had a really good stepdad growing up, but I know like, you know, that's not usually the case. And it's just from, it's, I feel like it's a relatable concept, but just like, ah, oh, that guy was an asshole. But like, I love this movie. If you grew up, you know, if you grew up during this time period, it takes place 2002 to 2014, which I really did. It really connects with you. And I highly recommend it if you did grow up in that time or like even, you know, the late nineties, even now, like, oh, I, I connect with this movie so much. Anyway, if I were to do a top 10 favorite movies of all time, you'll probably see this in here. Interstellar. The funny story about this is um, I borrowed it because a friend wanted me to see it back when I lived in Colorado. And I had it for months. Actually, I might have had it for like a year. And she ended up buying a brand new copy because I never got it back to her. And I wasn't stealing it. I straight up was like going to give it back to her, just forgot. Then one day I was like, hey, I'm going to come bring it by. I'll drop it off for you. And she straight up was like, oh, I bought a new copy like two months ago. I'm like, well, I'm moving to California in like two weeks. So uh, I just took it with me. And I mean, she, she didn't even care. Split, saw this for the first time like a month ago, and holy shit, this movie is good. I still need to see Glass, but like, I, I loved this. Now we have Adventure, The Goonies, Lord of the Rings, three film collection, which includes Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and Return of the King. Then the only Hobbit movie that I own, and the only one I like, is The Hobbit, Desolation of Smog, Smaug, Smoog, however you say it. It's definitely not Smoog, but still. Anyway, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now going into sci-fi, we've got Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, my personal favorite Star Wars movie. I don't trust him. Is he not the chosen one? Is he not the one to bring balance to the force? That's what the prophecy says. Fucking dickhead ain't getting on there though. Anyway, um, even though I own the collection, I just, I love it, so I had to get the steelbook. 
Uh, Rogue One, I personally like it. I know the characters, you know, aren't the best, they're a little flat. But the last half hour of this movie totally, like, and just the entire lead up that leads up to the half hour that bridges this with A New Hope, it's just amazing in my opinion. Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens, so far the only film in the sequel trilogy that I like. Um, don't like Last Jedi. Very low expectations for whatever Episode Nine is going to be called, but I'm optimistic. Um, now we're into comic book movies. We've got the original Batman, Batman Returns, Spider-Man, Pizza Time, Spider-Man 2. Uh, I just realized I have the, the first Avengers on DVD in here. I didn't even know I owned this movie, but I, I guess it's in here, so whatever. Um, so yeah, the first Avengers, apparently. Now dig on this. Anyway, Spider-Man 3. I probably personally love the Spider-Man trilogy. I like the original Toby trilogy over any other Spider-Man movie. I know you're probably gonna, I'm probably going to get, you know, a lot of backlash for that if anybody really cares. But um, I personally think that they're better. In, in my opinion, they feel more like comic book films. They feel more fun, in my opinion. They feel like Spider-Man. All that being said, I don't even hate this movie. Like, a lot of people don't like Spider-Man 3. It's not great, and there's a lot wrong with it. But there's a lot of good scenes, too. It is a little bit of a mess, but I still, I still enjoy it at times. Deadpool, Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, The Avengers Infinity War, my personal favorite Marvel movie so far. So fucking good. And now we have action. We've got my favorite action movie of all time, Die Hard. Die Hard with a Vengeance, Jurassic Park, in 3D apparently. Jurassic World, only saw this once. I need to rewatch it, honestly. I haven't even seen the second one, Fallen Kingdom. Um, Taken, and Godzilla. I'm a gambling boogeyman, although I don't play fair. Sorry for singing the night before Christmas for whatever reason. Uh, the angry video game nerd, the movie. Now I didn't know where to put this. Is it a comedy? Is it a drama? Is it a is it an action movie? I don't I don't know. So I just threw it in action. I like the angry video game nerd movie. Um, I just I don't think it was like hilarious or like funny, and which is what I enjoyed about the show. I don't think it really is as funny or anything i think it's more like action based which is which is interesting but it's a change of pace but still i prefer the web series over the movie obviously okay now getting into horror one of my favorite genres of all time jaws uh, my favorite horror series of all time halloween halloween 2 and if you want to hear my in-depth thoughts on every single halloween every single movie in the halloween franchise go check out a video which i'll have in the description back in october where i talk about each and every one leading up to the 2018 release of the you know the brand new halloween movie that came out Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which I love. Watch my thoughts on that if you want to hear why. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. H20, which is Halloween 20 years later. H20, which is Halloween 20 years later. Halloween Resurrection. The Evil Dead. Gremlins. The Silence of the Lambs. Scream 5 film set, which Scream is my probably my favorite horror movie of all time after Halloween. I love Scream. I think it's smart. It's clever. You're fucking hit me with a phone, dick. But uh, no, the Scream series in general. What's your favorite scary movie? Boom, bing, bam. A series was born. But it includes Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, and then two documentaries, Still Screaming and Scream the Inside Story. Anyway, Scream 4, Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> Halloween the remake. Halloween 2 the remake, which is nothing like the original Halloween 2. Friday the 13th, the remake, which isn't good. Uh, it, now it is it is amazing. One of my favorite horror movies in the last few years, which will also be followed by Halloween 2018, which I actually really like. Um, yeah, great movie. I remember I was so excited to see this and I personally loved it. So there's that. Now my Blu-ray TV seasons, which I don't really have any, but I'll still go through them. Uh, just one show, Walking Dead season one, Walking Dead season two, Walking Dead Season 3, The Walking Dead Season 4, and The Walking Dead Season 5. Now, I have not seen anything past Season 6, Episode 2. Who knows if I ever will. The show just, I lost a lot of interest in the show. Apparently enough to break the case. No, <laughs> I think that was when I moved. It was an accident. Now we're going to go through all the video games that I own. And as I said, I had kind of a special treat for something in my collection, and it's the video games. A lot of them, the cartridge-based games, I ended up getting special custom cases for them so they have actual real cases so you'll see what i mean in just a second but let's start with the nes i have the legend of zelda and super mario brothers 3 and that's all i have for the nes now for super nintendo i also only have two games i've got the magical quest starring mickey mouse and toy story 
both Disney games. Next up we have Sega Genesis. I've got the Adventures of Batman and Robin. And as you'll see, see like the cases, you just boom, just like that. They're really cool actually, like I love these cases. I think it looks so much better on a collect, like on a shelf. Aladdin, The Jungle Book, Echo the Dolphin, La Russa, La Russa, La Russa, Baseball 95, as in 1995, not the 95th, uh, you know, version of the game. The Page Master. And Samurai Showdown. I almost wanted to say Shaolin Soccer. You know, the movie? <sighs> Thank God I didn't say it. Sonic 3D Blast. Sonic Spinball. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Tom and Jerry Frantic Antics. Taz and the Escape from Mars. Now, I, I totally forgot. I actually have one more Super Nintendo game because I don't have a case for it yet. I just have the cartridge, but it's Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And then I've got three N64 games, and I don't have cases for these ones yet. We've got The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, and A Bug's Life. Now for the Wii, we've got Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Epic Mickey, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and Wii Play. Now for the Wii U, we've got The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, HD, uh, Mario Party 10, New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, is that what it's called? New Super Mario Bros. U, and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Now on the Nintendo Switch, we've got The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Tennis Aces, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For the GameCube, we have The Incredibles, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Casper Spirit Dimensions, Disney's Extreme Skid Adventure, which has an amazing soundtrack, by the way. It's kind of like punk rock, punk pop, pop rock from like early 2000s, so good. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, which it's like this, what is this, the Kmart exclusive? Like, what the, the fuck, where did I pull this out of? Madden 2005, I think the oldest game I have as far as like what game I've had the longest. Every game here, you know, even though I have some old games, I got them like within the last few years. This one, I've had since 2004, Christmas 2004, so that's, that's crazy. Um, SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and now PlayStation 2. We've got Finding Nemo, Gran Turismo 3, The Simpsons Hit and Run, The Cat in the Hat, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, Madagascar, NBA 2K8, Rock Band, and Tetris Worlds, Tony Hawk's Underground, and Wallace and Gromit and Project Zoo. Next up, PlayStation 4. Got Batman Arkham Knight, Battleborn, Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which has the pre-sequel in Borderlands 2, Call of Duty World War 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, Just Cause 2, Minecraft, NBA 2K15, Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection, which has Drake's Fortune, Among Thieves, and Drake's Deception. And Uncharted 4, Thieves' End, or I guess it's a Thief's End, and I think I made the same mistake last year. <laughs> then we have Uncharted 4, Thieves' End. A Thieves, a Thief, Thief, a Thief, a Thief's End. And Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is my only PS1 game that I own. All right, Xbox 360 games. We have Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, Batman Arkham Knight, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Disneyland Adventures, or I guess Connect Disneyland Adventures, which I just realized I don't even own a Connect, so I don't know how I'm playing that one. I guess the answer is I'm not. Uh, Lego Mumong. What? Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Lost. Via Domus. I actually did a game review on this. In the Retrospect Lounge, so check that out. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. And last but not least, Sonic Generations. And now we've got PC. We've got the Elder Scrolls Anthology, which comes with Arena, Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. And now keep in mind, I have a lot of PC games, but they're all on Steam. This is just what I own physically. Call of Duty 2. The Movies. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which I did game reviews on actually both of these games. Movies and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. That one was gold. This one's platinum. I don't know why I own both because this one comes with one more expansion pack than gold. So, better off just owning this one. The Sims Deluxe Edition, which comes with the Sims Live in the Large expansion pack. Sims 2 Double Deluxe, which comes with Nightlife expansion pack and Celebration stuff. And then Sims 2 Fun with Pets Collection, which comes with Sims 2 Pets expansion and Mansion and Garden stuff and Family Fun stuff. Stuff packs. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is my entire collection right here. If you enjoyed, go ahead and please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, if you haven't yet, check out my second channel, Millsy Vlogs, in the description. I do vlogs, random various videos. It's kind of like my anything and everything channel, and uh, it's, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. So if you haven't checked it out, go check that out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day.